There is one painting I was amazed to see for the very first time when I went to the Hermitage, and that is El Greco's St. Bernard of Clairvaux, a painting that I thought had been lost, destroyed, that I only knew through black and white photographs. And to see it in the flesh was, was something else. It's important in El Greco's career because he painted it when he first arrived in Toledo in Spain. Um, he was commissioned to decorate this massive altarpiece that still exists, but unfortunately the nuns sold the majority of the paintings and now they're um, uh, replaced with copies. So when you see the original, the original concept, it's extremely exciting. And what we see here is St. Bernard looking directly at you in the eye. He's holding a bishop's crozier in one hand, very tightly gripped, and then in the other hand, almost balanced in his hand, is, is the Bible, the, the power of the Gospels. Um, and what I love is this contrast between this really quite hardened face, very realistic face. Greco is no doubt paying homage to the great Venetian artist Tintoretto and, and Titian in this portraiture. But at the same time, he brings a beautiful sense of spirituality in the way he has painted the white drapery that covers um, the top half of this, of this man. And it's the way it falls around his hand and down the front of his chest. There's something very serene about it. Just seeing it for the first time like this was, uh, made a very big impression on me and I was delighted.